In Genesis chapter 21, we read in verse 8, And the young child was increased, that's referring to Isaac, and was weaned, and Abraham made a great reception on the day Isaac his son was weaned. But Sarah, having seen the son of Hagar the Egyptian who became to Abraham, playing with Isaac her son, also said to Abraham, You must throw out the servant girl and her son, for the son of the servant girl will not inherit with my son Isaac. But the spoken matter was vehemently brought to light hard before Abraham concerning his son. But God said to Abraham, The spoken matter must not be hard before you concerning the young child and concerning the servant girl. All as many things as if ever Sarah may say to you, you must hear her sound, because in Isaac seed will be called to you. But also the son of the servant girl, into a great nation, I will make him, because he is your son, your seed. The young child was increased, that means that he grew in the physical category, and he was weaned from his mother's milk. And Abraham made a great reception on the day Isaac his son was weaned. He did a large feast or banquet, accepting a lot of people inside of his dwelling on the same day. But after Sarah saw or perceived the son of Hagar, the Egyptian who became to Abraham, that's referring to Ishmael, who is Hagar's son, playing with Isaac, her son, that's Sarah's son, that means that he was amusing himself with him, whether as equals or as an elder versus a younger. And then the Hebrew uses the verb that indicates that he was making Isaac to be the state of being the subject of a joke, the object of laughter, saying things about Isaac to provoke a mocking type of laughter. Also she said to Abram, so this is Sarah, said to Abraham, you must throw out, or it is imperative that you cast out, cause the state of being driven out for the servant girl, the young female, whose occupation is as a servant, and that's referring to Hagar, and her son Ishmael. In truth, the son of the servant girl will not inherit, will not ever become an inheritor, will not at any time be an heir of an allotted portion in company and association with my son Isaac. However, the spoken matter or the saying that Sarah spoke containing a specific discourse necessary for this particular situation or circumstance, the spoken matter was vehemently brought to light or caused to shine, becoming evident, clearly seen to be to a great extent or very much what? Hard or harsh before Abraham or for Abraham's viewpoint concerning his son about Ishmael. But God or Elohim, the creator in relation to his creations, said to Abraham, the spoken matter or the saying that Sarah spoke must not be hard before you concerning the young child about Ishmael and concerning the servant girl Hagar. All as many things are everything, if it should happen at any time, that Sarah would say to you, you must hear her sound, or it is imperative that you listen to her to the end of doing what she says. Why? Because in Isaac, or within the sphere of action of Isaac, seed will be called to you. In Isaac, within the sphere of action of Isaac, seed will be called to you. Offspring will have you named as their forefather. But in addition, concerning the son of the servant girl, into a great nation I will make him, that is, with a view to causing a large group of people, a great ethnic group, I will cause to produce or make the action to bring that about for him because he is emphatically your seed, yours, and that's referring to the natural, fleshy, biological sense. So even though 
Ishmael was naturally the firstborn son of Abraham. He was not the son in whom seed is called to Abraham. However, God told Abraham that Ishmael would become a nation. In this record, God confirms that Isaac was the son promised to Abraham by God to be born by his wife Sarah. And it is in Isaac that seed is called to Abraham, which included the truth that the Christ would be born according to the same promise. This seed is heir to all that God promised to Abraham and to his seed.